Morning everybody, it's Thursday 23rd of April. Um, probably wondering why I'm doing this in the car and driving along. Um, as you've watched on previous videos, um, I have a real desire to do Kajaku spawning this year and that's my main target. Um, the male I have, or maybe have, I'm a little bit concerned that it may not be a male and it's kind of deja vu from last year um, in the fact that uh, one of the males that we, we planned to use last year turned out to be a female um, and I'm concerned that the same is happening this year and I don't want to get to the situation whereas last year I had alternative males to use I don't have an alternative male Kajaku to use <coughs> anyway so I was watching, or oh, looking around on the internet over the last few weeks when this sort of concern has come up. Um, and there was one that I saw at Kitsu Koi, which was bred by um, a Fuji Koi farm. Um, I also still have hopes of getting one from um, from Brick and New Forest as well, which appeared on an earlier de uh, video that we made. But, um, so we spoke, me and, me and uh, Chris at Kitsu had spoken about this fish. Um, he'd sent me a video of it. He'd sent me a video of him getting sperm from it as well. So confirmed it was definitely a male. Obviously, with the coronavirus problems are at the moment, getting around the country to pick up fish is, is impossible. Um, and also the courier companies are on and off with regards to their um, their shipping arrangements, whether they're actually carrying live fish or not. Anyway, I just happened to speak to Chris two days ago. Um, and he mentioned that he was coming down from Sheffield, where Kitsu is, um, down to Kent to pick up um, some products from a, a supplier. Um, and that means he drives straight past my door pretty much um, just off the N25 at the services which is where I'm heading and Chris is there right now and we're picking up this Malka Jacku from him so that's the plan this morning quick known contract to pick up from him um, in the car park of the services um, and then we'll be back home um, but we'll take a look at the fish in more detail so here we are at the services and as you can see unsurprisingly pretty empty good morning Chris good morning Mark did you have a nice drive from Sheffield? Love the drive, no traffic. The joys of lockdown. Yeah, special delivery. Thank you very much. So, this is the Kajaku I mentioned on the videos I was driving up. Just drop in the back for me, crispy, perfect. See that, and we'll take a look at that when we get back in the court at the house. Enjoy the rest of your day, Chris. Love Thank you very you much, much, and I'll speak to you later. Okay, back home, just a short journey, about three miles from where I was with Chris, um, back to home here. Um, the fish is in the tank, one of the tanks behind me just floating this bag on the surface for 10, 15 minutes just to equalize the temperatures. Um, so just while I'm doing that, just give a quick update on where we're at with the tanks really, and what's been happening. So the tank's now been running um, for two weeks, just over two weeks um, since the systems were turned on. I think it was when the last video was done. Um, these fish, what I call a suicide squad, went in earlier this week into this first tank. There's some fish here that have been in the main pond for a fair while. So they're eating, doing what they need to do to generate ammonia to get the filtration systems running. Um, yesterday afternoon, um, the prospective male parent fish, Goshki, the other Kajaku that I have, um, which I'm now suspecting may be female, and Gimri and Kaki went into this tank. Uh, they've been up and feeding well. You can just see Kajaku in the bag there, and the other fish showing some interest underneath, being nosy as they are, as fish do. Um, generally, I hate covered tanks with nets. Um, but I'm not taking any chance with these ones coming out, obviously. Around the side of the tanks, tanks have all been clad um, in wood and behind the wood um, there's an inch of polystyrene insulation just to try and keep some warmth in. Around the other side, this area all needs to be boxed in still. At the moment, during the daytime, these work fantastically as little warmers um, in the full sunshine there, warm the water up quite quickly. Unfortunately, they also cool it down quite quickly at night. So, this is all going to be boxed in, uh, in basically an insulated filter cupboard um, over the next week, a few days. Hopefully, depending on my carpentry skills. Anyway, 
that's basically where it's at. The systems are running, just getting mature as quickly as possible. Let me quick look inside this easy pod here. Um, I added some existing media from the Nexus that's running in the core house um, just to try and kick that off a little bit. Still quite buoyant, need to try and push that down a little bit today. And just try and get more water over the media. But all's fine. Um, they'll just continue to mature over the course of the next two weeks. And two weeks today is when spawning is planned. But everything's fine, however everything's running. Um, these systems nest needs, just need to mature now as much as possible. Um, they're not going to be used as, as rearing tanks for, for a while yet. Um, spawning is actually planned for two weeks today, um, but that's going to take place in the, the tank inside, um, as we did last year. Um, and it's going to be the Kajaku set that gets spawned first. Females will come out here into the outdoor tanks where they'll stay um, until their time to get uh, spawning. Um, and it's going to be a sort of a process of moving things along through the system. So probably baby Kajaku will come outside, and then if I do Goshki second, then uh, the Goshi we bought, uh, spawned inside as well. But that's all a long way in the distance. We're talking there. The you know, second spawn is probably a good six weeks away from now. But two weeks there, I say, um, start to find the Kajaku. So with that, going to get this male out into the tank so we can take a closer look at him. So here we are. This is the Kajaku in question. Bred by Fujikoi Farm. And as I think it's blatantly obvious to see from here, from this shot, um, with those big pectoral fins, there's no question this being a male. And of course, as I mentioned, I think earlier, Chris has already sent me a video of him just managed to get some sperm from the vent. So, all's good. Really pleased. This the first time I've seen it in the flesh. Lovely, deep, orange coloration. Benny. And nice... Fine scalation, so very, very pleased. I have to say, very pleased. Thank you, Chris. Um, yeah, you know, there's little niggles, things that I maybe wouldn't like or would prefer not to have, such as the red in the pectoral fin, but as it is, not overly concerned. There's more positives about this fish, many more positives about this fish um, for me for breeding um, than the little bit of red in the fin there. So it's nice and bright, well he's nice and bright. Um, one interesting thing, on the video that Chris sent, you couldn't quite see the scalation, but there is just a little bit of darkening on the scales on the, the dorsal ridge there. It looked like the area was quite clean. Um, but so, yeah, neither here nor there really. But, yeah, I'm very pleased. Uh, I'm going to measure it and just check the vent myself. Um, before popping them into the tank. So just putting them on the measuring board. 48 centimetres, three year old. You only have to fill the gill covers to be left in no one's certain doubt. This is a male. And I have to be honest, maybe I'll start to look to bring the breeding forward. I'm not sure at the moment. Maybe we'll bring it forward a week. Just a mention of um, this measuring board and the tank indeed that it's in. So the measuring board, as you can see from the name on it, made by the Koi Collection, Ken Wilkie up in Coventry. Great little bit of kit, just arrived here the other day. It's the first fish that's been measured on it now, actually. But just basically a copy of the genuine Japanese Shinkokai ones. Made of fiberglass with a good sticker on it. Um, so very nice and easy to measure the, measure the fish easily inside the tank and then without needing to move the fish from tank to tank you can just slot the measuring board out and you're still using the same tank and the tank itself is a lovely big measuring bowl or rectangular bowl made by Manakoi as well um, it's a lovely size for photographing fish um, nice and wide nice and deep so yeah, another, if anybody's looking for a, a large rectangular bowl, then really recommend these, beautiful finish on it, uh, made by the guys at Manakoi as well. 
So I'm going to get a few quick still pictures of this fish and then get him into the tank and secure it away.